Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take an algorithm that you've written on Quant Connect and deploy it for live trading on interactive brokers. So let's say you have a back test for your algorithm right here and you want to see how it performs in the future, right? My back test uh, looks all right, you know, 2021, 2022, it says I had a 47% return, which is pretty good considering 2022 hasn't been very good. So as you know, it's often possible to have a back test that looks great in the past, but it's overfit to your data and you want to see how it performs on future data that it hasn't seen and in realistic market conditions. So the only choice we have here is to actually deploy this algorithm live. And there are two ways to do this within Quant Connect. Number one, you can click this little live deploy button. And when you do that, you'll get this live deploy wizard here where you can connect your interactive brokers account and use your interactive brokers data feed, your market data feed, or you can use Quant Connect's data feed here. And then you can select a trading node in the Quant Connect cloud infrastructure and deploy this. And you'll have to pay some money for this to deploy it on Quant Connect's infrastructure. But the good news about that is that you don't have to deal with any of the infrastructure yourself. You see how that's just a one-click deployment and I can cl just click deploy and it'll start trading and I'll be done with it. The second way I'm gonna show you how to do this is to show you how to spin up your own server. So I'm gonna use Linode here coupled with the Lean C CLI. So I've done a video on the Lean algorithmic trading engine that's made by Quant Connect. And the benefit of this is that it's an open source engine and you can just take your strategy from Quant Connect and run it on your own infrastructure here. And you just need to provide your interactive brokers market data feed. And this Lean CLI actually has a module where it'll connect to your interactive brokers account and you can actually trade it on your own server. And so I'm gonna show you how to do this right here. So you see here, I've deployed on my own server an algorithm called Fat Red Orange Horse. It generates these random names for your strategies if you don't rename them. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do this and, and show you how to monitor the logs and see uh, each run of your live trades right here. And so you'll be able to monitor the performance and the log files here. And you'll have your nice own server where you can run this. And I'll show you how to set up some aliases and shortcuts so you just can launch live trading easily from the command line. You can pull down your Quant Connect algorithms from the cloud to your server and vice versa. You can push algorithms back and trade on your own server. Now the obvious disclaimer here is that short-term trading is risky and writing code to trade is risky. And so do all these things at your own risk. I recommend paper trading this for a long time before you do any type of live trading using your real money. So we can start out in paper trading mode. And if you feel confident after monitoring it over time, then you can put it in live trading mode. And as always, please like and subscribe. And if you use anything I mentioned in this video, I leave links down below if you want to contribute to the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be walking you through the article that I've written on the website, hackingthemarkets.com. I'm going to walk you through this step by step. Uh, I just wrote this the past couple of days and I want to make sure it's error free. So I'm going to go through this myself with a fresh new server and a fresh new account to make sure it all works. So as I mentioned, we're going to be using Quant Connect's integration with interactive brokers. Now the big benefit of this, uh, I've written some strategies and code in the past that are different scripts and I back tested them with various back testing engines. And then sometimes I would rewrite those scripts in different ways. So so that I could deploy them uh, to my own server and run that. You could see where I did that with like Alpaca early on. I would have a cron job that ran a script to do like an opening range breakout or short down gaps and things like that. Uh, but the benefit here is this same code, the strategy code that we wrote in Quant Connect, we can take that exact same code and click deploy. And the same code that we use to backtest our algorithm can be used on incoming real-time data that's coming from interactive brokers. So that's really neat that you don't have to make any changes to your code at all. It's nice and abstract like that. So we can point it at historical data and backtest it. And then we can just switch it over and it can feed in data from our paper trading account to see how uh, the forward test performs. And then we can then point it to our live trading account and trade it with real money should we choose to do that. I wanna quickly touch on a few points that were mentioned in my trading framework video. So this is the points on the pros and cons of using Quant Connect's cloud versus running your own server. Uh, some people just like everything managed for them and they're willing to pay a little bit of money to do that. And some people like to just take everything into their own hands. They want it to feel more private and their own. And so I've listed a few different pros and cons that I'm gonna touch on briefly before we start uh, deploying this algorithm. So the easiest way is to use Quant Connect's cloud. So obviously the pros there is it's simple and easy. You got that little wizard, you enter your in some details, you connect a live trading node and you click and it goes up there and you don't need to worry about it. So it's easy. Secondly, uh, it saves you a lot of valuable time. So you have to pay some money to do this. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks a month. However, you know, if you're some server engineer or financial professional and you're making uh, six figures, multiple six figures, then $20 a month 
is nothing, right? And if you spent days and days or weeks trying to set it up, you're losing money by not just paying the 20 bucks, right? So uh, thirdly, it saves you the stress of worrying about servers and infrastructure, right? You're saying, hey, Quant Connect, you maintain this thing for me. Here's 20 bucks a month, and then I'm gonna go to sleep at night not worrying that something went down, that I'm not monitoring my processes correctly, or there's some network internet connection issue or something like that. You're, you're putting that burden on them. Also in this mode, you get a nice web-based UI. So you have all these tools for logging, monitoring, and visualization. So when it goes live here, so this is the back test UI, but when it goes live, you'll see the live logs right here and live orders right here. And you'll just have these nice tools for monitoring your uh, trading algorithm. You'll see it on the dashboard and there'll be a little lightning bolt next to it. And you can see what's going on. Another possible pro here is if you're using uh, your interactive brokers market data feed, this does cost you some money if you're paying through interactive brokers. Now, if you're using Quant Connect's cloud, you can use the Quant Connect data feed, even though you're connected to your interactive broker's uh, brokerage account. The cons are obviously that this costs money. So you're actually paying money to use this service. Quant Connect is a business. It's not just a charity that's giving you all this infrastructure and AWS instances for free. Uh, they have network engineers, software engineers, researchers, all that kind of stuff. So they need money to run the service. So it costs you money. A lot of people expect everything to be free and you can run everything for free if you're willing to run everything yourself on your own laptop, but it takes a lot of stress and responsibility. The second con for some people is that it feels less private, right? I'm taking all my algorithms and I'm putting it up in a Quant Connects cloud and some people don't like uh, their data to live up in the cloud. The third con is that you don't own it. So if you deploy to Quant Connects Cloud, right, uh, as soon as you stop paying a monthly subscription, you lose access to it and you no longer have it, right? This leads me to our other approach, which is the hard way, right? You gotta run your own server. So the pros to this, obviously, is that you have a little more control over your costs. Uh, I'm using Linode here, which costs like $5 a month, so you can save a little bit of money. Secondly, it feels a little bit more private. I'm using the Lean CLI to uh, run my strategy on my own server, and if Quant Connect for some reason ever disappeared and went under or Robinhood acquired them and shut them down. All these things we've seen uh, happen in the past, then uh, we still have the Lean CLI. It lives and exists out there as an open source project. Someone could take it over and then people could continue to maintain it and run it on their own server. So it's not tied to Quant Connect's cloud existing. Uh, third, it's yours, same point. Uh, fourth, um, a pro is that maybe you don't like Quant Connect's UI, you wanna build your own tools, they provide all these JSON files and log files for you, and you can build your own little web app or streamlit uh, app on top of that, build your own tools, customize it however you want. And fifth, you might already pay for your own server anyway. I have a bunch of servers, and so this cost here is already kind of built in. I can just uh, launch Lean CLI on a server that I already have, so that doesn't really cost any money. Uh, the cons of running your own server, obviously it's more difficult, as you'll see, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. It's gonna take a lot longer time to do this than it is to uh, deploy it on Quant Connects Cloud, so it's time consuming. Finally, there's the stress of worrying about your own uh, servers and infrastructure. I was a server engineer for many years on some apps that had down thousands and millions of users, and there's always this little worry in the back of your mind that something can be going wrong at any single night, and it, it could take a mental toll on you, so sometimes it's better to just pay, pay the money and get it out of the way. So to get started, I'm gonna start with the easy method, which is to deploy using Quant Connects Cloud. So to get started, you can either open an existing algorithm that you've already created. For instance, I have this small caps algorithm that I have right here, but I'm going to create a brand new one here. So I'm gonna do create new algorithm. So let's create a basic example. So I've included some code here, and this is gonna buy various uh, sector ETFs. And so I'm gonna click create new algorithm. I can paste in the code for my own algorithm. I can hit the play button as usual and back test it over any period of time. Time. So I'll do that and see the results. And you can see just buying a balance of the technology ETF, the energy ETF, and the utilities ETF here uh, was profitable over the last couple of years. So let's decide you wanna do that. Uh, you can click live and start live trading it. The purpose of this tutorial isn't some advanced strategy development. The purpose of this is to show you how to take your algorithm and deploy it live. If you want tons of strategy discussion, they already have a Quant Connect community here where there's a million different strategies shared. A lot of people just want me to talk about strategies. There's a million strategies online and a million people uh, telling you how to trade and providing back tests and stuff already. What I wanna do is focus on some of the things that people aren't talking about, which is how to take this back test and actually put it up there live on a server. And so that's the purpose uh, of this video. 
And so if I want to live trade this, uh, the main reason I put this, if not portfolio invested, set holdings, I want this to take a trade immediately. That way I can verify that's making trades on my interactive broker's account, right? And so if I'm not invested, as soon as this runs, it's going to allocate a third of my portfolio to technology, XLE, and utilities. And so I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna click the live trading button since I liked my back test. And I'm going to click uh, select brokerage and I'm gonna select interactive brokers right here. Uh, under note here, this is the AWS instance. I believe they use AWS on the back end, and this is the node I want to deploy to. Now, what you're gonna see if you don't have uh, a live deployment node here, you actually have to pay a monthly fee for this. And so what you'll see in place of your live trading node, it'll say add node and it'll take you to this pricing page. You can click on annual, which will save you a little bit per month, or you can click on monthly. And it looks like uh, you need this live micro live node, that's $24 a month. And I believe you need this research seat as well. So that's gonna cost you uh, a monthly fee. And I also have a back test node. And so that's 40, $8 a month, and so you need to decide whether that's worth it to you or whether you wanna roll your own solution. But for this first section, this is just for people who wanna pay a monthly fee and get the infrastructure out of the way and just focus on their strategy development and deploying it live. So once you've actually paid for a live trading node here, it'll appear and you can select it as your target node. And for brokerage, I'm gonna choose Interactive Brokers right here, and I'm going to enter in my username and password. And so this is the same one you use to log into Interactive Brokers here. And so if I go to interactivebrokers.com and I log into my account, so I go to portal login here, there's the live username and password and there's the paper username and password. And so I'm gonna log in with this and I'm not gonna show you uh, my credentials on the screen, but if you log in the, with this, uh, you'll see on your screen, there's gonna be an account ID. And for me at least, it starts with the letters DU for paper trading and for live trading, it starts with the letter U. And so I'm gonna use the one that starts with DU and I'm going to log in with my username, which is part-time Larry, but it really isn't. And I'm gonna log in with my password here, long password password and you're gonna see some number and I believe it ends with uh, seven, seven characters right here. And for data provider, I'm going to use uh, interactive brokers in this case, uh, or you can use the Quant Connect data feed. I've included a screenshot of some data that I pay for in Interactive Brokers. And so that's the US Security Snapshot and Futures Bundle, which is $10 a month, and the US Equity and Options Add-on Streaming Bundle, which is $450 a month. Uh, I use both of these. And then this NASDAQ Options data, you don't need that, but uh, I have this. I was looking at some options activity, and so I'm paying for that as well. Okay, so uh, you enter in those credentials. And the other thing that you need to do is when you log in, typically you get a, an SMS text message message notification, and you'll have to enter in that number for two-factor authentication. What you also get now is there's a place after you log in where you can set up um, a mobile app and authenticate using mobile. And so you enable this IBKR uh, mobile application. And so if you have that set up properly on the app, you get this little uh, notification that says uh, verify your identity. And so I'm using fingerprint uh, uh, identification now, right? And so whenever I click that, then it logs into my interactive broker's account. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna click deploy and I'm gonna get this little uh, notification on my phone and I'm gonna use my fingerprint and verify that and then it'll authenticate and connect to start live trading. So I'm gonna do that now. So I click deploy and it says deploying live trading strategy. It's important that you're not logged into your interactive broker's account in Trader Workstation or any other places. Uh, this basically takes control of the account and logs into it, initializes algorithm deploys a live trading node and it can seamlessly uh, synchronize and uh, integrate with your interactive brokers account. And look at that, you can see the equity right now. This matches what's in my paper trading account, which is $973,000 in fake money. And if you look down here, you should see that it actually executes those orders. So on the first bar, if I'm not invested, it executes and allocates one third of my portfolio to XLK, XLE, and XLU, and you can see those logs actually coming in live on the web dashboard, which is super nice. So it's taken 33% each to each of those, and there's 1% still left over because that's not an even 100%, uh, and you can see the fees that were paid to execute those, and you can see my unrealized gain or loss, and looks like already down $100. And so you can just let that trade uh, for as long as you want and monitor it on this dashboard. Now let's say uh, you see this 114 dollars down and you panic a bit and you go oh my god or you notice something's wrong with your algorithm and after monitoring that 
oh, looks like I'm up $385 now. And so let's say I wanna lock that in before I lose it all. I'm going to just click a liquidate right now. Or if I notice something's wrong with my algorithm and I just uh, don't like it, I start noticing a bug, I can just say liquidate and I can say, get me out of here. And what you'll notice is that I'll actually execute orders to actually sell um, all of those positions. So you can see it did a sell order for all those positions and I liquidated uh, the account. And if I scroll down to my logs here, you can see where it actually executed all these sell orders and liquidated uh, all of my positions. Now, if I want, anytime I wanna run this, I can just redeploy it again and start trading. And that's pretty much all there is to it with this approach. So now that I've stopped my live trading session with Quant Connect, I went over and logged into my Interactive Brokers uh, Trader Workstation, so in the paper trading side. And so you can see here that the market is open right now. And indeed, we executed some orders in a realistic trading environment. So you can see all my buys and sells of XLE, XLU, and XLK. Now, let's suppose I've been running this for a while in paper trading mode and I feel very happy, things are looking great. I want this to start trading a small percentage of my money and I wanna do it in live trading mode with real money. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click redeploy and instead of entering the account ID that starts with DU, which is my paper trading account, I'll use the account ID that starts with U when I'm logged into my live trading account. So if you log into Trader Workstation or on the web portal, you should see an account ID that starts with U if you're in live trading mode, and that's what you'd use right here. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'm gonna redeploy this thing. So I've entered my credentials, and I kept everything else the same. So I'm using the same data feed, the same strategy code, uh, and the same brokerage, and you'll see it says deploying live strategy. So I click redeploy, you may get a notification to uh, authenticate or to complete two-factor authentication. I did get one just now, so I'm gonna click this on my phone and you should see the deployment finish after I do this. Um, I don't think it always prompts you, but sometimes it will prompt you and then you do that and then maybe it caches it or allows it for a certain period of time after that uh, without reprompting you for authentication, but this time it did. And so as I did that, you see it said it connected and started synchronizing with my account. You can see uh, this is one of my real brokerage accounts here uh, with real money. So you see this one only has $30,000 in it and it launched and it connected to it and it should start executing the strategy. Unfortunately, I've talked way too long and you see I ran this and it said order rejected. The market is closed, so the market had closed uh, not too long ago. So this is, I missed it by like five seconds, but I did confirm this a couple of days ago. So if I log into my Interactive Brokers account right here. Uh, you can see my orders in trades. And so you can see I indeed uh, ran this and it was actually 1 p.m. right when I ran this. So it rejected those orders because the market closed. I'm in Pacific time here. So that's right, like right when the market closed. But you can see my ones that executed here when I ran it during uh, the morning on uh, October 25th. So you see uh, the buys and sells that occur right here. So I can confirm that I can successfully make trades on my paper trading account and then point it over to my live account and that seems to be working well. And I originally was gonna do this all in one video and show you the server part, but since I've been talking a while and I don't want to edit an hour, two hour long video again, I'm gonna stop this one here since it's a complete uh, thought and then I'm gonna record part two that's gonna jump straight into configuring a server using Lean CLI. So see you in the next video, thanks.